The Environmental Protection Agency is planning to weaken limits on forever chemicals in drinking water. The Biden administration set federal drinking water limits for PFAS after a link was found between the chemicals and increased risk for certain diseases. The EPA says it will keep the limits for the two most common types of PFAS, but will give utilities two more years to comply with those standards. In Wisconsin, environmental advocacy groups are keeping an eye on what this means for our drinking water. Chloe Morrissey has you covered on why the group Clean Wisconsin says the EPA's new regulations might not be legal. Commonly found in nonstick cookware, carpeting, and even firefighting foam, forever chemicals, also known as PFAS, can run off into our lakes and end up in your drinking water. Everything from, you know, low birth weight, um, uh, poor vaccine response in children to some types of cancer uh, have been associated with high level exposure to these chemicals. Amy Barrio is the communications director at Clean Wisconsin. She says the Biden administration previously set regulations on six types of PFAS chemicals, looking to bring their levels to near zero in drinking water. Now, the EPA only wants to regulate two. It is unusual, I would say, for the EPA um, to seek out a lesser standard than it had previously. It may not even be um, uh, legally permissible. We'll have to see how it plays out. The Safe Drinking Water Act, which is enforced by the EPA, says drinking water standards cannot be weakened. Nobody wants more PFAS in their drinking water. Nobody. There is no mandate for this. A spokesperson for Madison Water Utility tells me, quote, reducing all PFAS, not just the big two, is still the utility's main goal. We will continue to approach this as if we must not exceed maximum contaminant levels for the six PFAS. While the Trump administration says it will uphold the level limits for those two most common types of PFAS chemicals, the administration says it will delay the deadline for utility companies to meet those level limits by two years, pushing it back until 2031. Reporting in Madison, I'm Chloe Morrissey.